All right, as often time happens, I get called in on a job after um, something isn't planned quite right and it, it sort of, in a way, has to be made to work or fixed or something like that. And on in the case of this part, this face here, part of this face here has to have a, a neural on it, the drawing specifies, although it doesn't specify anything about the specs of this neural or the shape of it, but it just has to have some radial marks, I guess you might say, that a neural might make if you could even neural this, but there's a difficulty with neuraling a face in that you have to have the right circumference in the neural or it's going to cross neural it as it after it makes one revolution if it's not the right circumference. And, and although the right circumference neural was available from a supplier, it was special and it had to be ordered and it would take a long time to get it. That was one problem and, and to neural close to this OD which had a really nice finish on it for a seal purposes, it, it just was a difficult situation so that was one problem and then these counterbores were put in by the mill guys here, this counterbore and this other one on the other side, these notch counterbore things and so the neural's not going to track over those. Again, that's another problem and this was kind of not planned correctly. It should have been knurled first and then those put in. But they already were in the parts so they wanted to uh, do something with this. And, and at first I, I ground this tool like this on my grinder and I was going to run this in the hobbing mode kind of on the Mazak where the parts are synchronized and this tool would rotate and it would make these kind of like neural like marks in the face as it rotated in synchronous with each other and that sort of did work you know and I, I thought this was a good idea but I didn't like the shape of the neural the tool rotating in such a way that it kind of dished out the neural that and I, it did do it but I didn't really like the way it looked and I didn't want to risk these expenses these parts are made out of Monel so I didn't want to risk them so I changed my mind on that and and what I eventually did was um, put these serrations in the in the front of the part like this with a 32nd inch ball end mill and I and I showed this I made one and I showed it to the customer and they said yeah that'll work um, I'm not sure why they have these this neural or notches in this part I I don't really know why it's necessary but anyway that's what they wanted and uh, they seem like this would be work, so this is the way we went. So this video I'm going to show putting this, these little um, notches or, or um, slots in the face of this part. And just some machining clips of that and how I ended up doing it on the Mazak.